We're going to look at an example now where we have a negative mantissa and a negative exponent. So let's write down the mantissa and exponent separately. So we've got 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 for the mantissa and we have 1, 1, 1, 0 for the exponent. Because they both those numbers have a leading one, we know that they're negative. So let's first of all apply 2's complement to the exponent and that gives us 0, 0, 1, 0. That's easy enough to convert that into denary, it's 2, but of course because we've applied 2's complement the number is negative so therefore we've actually got minus 2. Next we're going to apply 2's complement to the exponent so that gives us 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. And we need to put in the imaginary, imaginary point there. Now we need to, to decide what to do with our point here. Now of course it's negative 2 so we move it to the left hand side, not to the right but to the left. So we need to move two hops to the left. So let's just write down a couple of zeros there on the left hand side and we go 1, 2. So now we have 0 0.0011. So if we know that the bits now are 1 8th and 1 16th, so if this is a half this is a quarter, this is an eighth, and this is a sixteenth. So therefore we have an eighth plus a sixteenth, which gives us 3 over 16. And again, we need to remember to put the minus value, which is really easy to forget this. So we actually have minus 3 over 16 for our number there. 